Hi, my name is Fabian and I run the Additive Minds Consulting Team for EOS in North America. EOS is a manufacturer of additive manufacturing systems, also known as industrial 3D printers. And we've worked with companies around the world for the past 30 years to push additive manufacturing into zero production. Now that we're there, we want to share our experience with you. And uh, that's why in this specific video called From Challenge to Challenger, I talk about how to strategically approach additive manufacturing and how to learn from the leading companies out there that already use industrial 3D printing for serial applications. If you're interested to learn more, please click on the link below and you'll see uh, all of our other webinars. And if you like this specific video, please uh, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our US channel. If we look at the most successful companies out there that have implemented additive manufacturing and use it as a production technology, they have formed a transformation team. Now, what do I feel, what do I mean by transformation team? I mean a team that leads the transformation throughout your company and even throughout your ecosystem and suppliers. Um, uh, from the beginning all the way into the end. And uh, this is very important because um, you you uh, have a representation within your team that uh, represents the whole organization. And to achieve that, you do need team members from all functions within your value chain. Uh, your value chain uh, is represented by, uh, by all functions that create value within your company, whether if it's primary or secondary. Um, but you also need executive sponsors. Uh, executive sponsors are very important to also provide you with the support of creating visibility across the organization, but also providing you with resources and also providing you with uh, the, the needed pressure that you need to push this initiative forward. Part of this transformation team uh, should also be an actual core implementation team. And this core implementation team needs to be set up in a way that it can be function, that it can function as an agile uh, team setup. Well, that means I'll talk about in the next slide. But if you want to put together your implementation team, you will take uh, people out of your uh, first form transformation team to represent number one supply chain, to represent also certain engineering functions such as design, material engineering, but also quality engineering. And you need some guys out of production. Um, this implementation team does not have to be fixed from the very early beginning. Why? Because we still need to figure out which use case we actually want to work on. Important is that you start with the transformation team. And once you have a better understanding of your first use case, you do form your implementation team with people that are highly motivated, but also with people that have the needed expertise of your current part portfolio in order to bring this initiative forward. Once we have uh, formed the transformation team and also uh, partially a innovation, a implementation team, we need to understand that uh, additive manufacturing is an agile manufacturing technology. And since it is agile, we also need a agile team set up. Um, the team approach uh, that uh, we've seen most successfully being used is the uh, uh, widely now known approach of team of teams, which means that uh, I can still operate in my current hierarchical structure, but out of this hierarchical structure, I can form teams cross-functionally um, in uh, by not uh, taking any current hierarchy or function into account, which means that even uh, uh, some people out of the executive team can be part of such a team of teams, uh, but not be in the leadership role, but have some certain other person that's uh, actually uh, towards the lower end of a hierarchy being the leader of those teams. That has two opportunities. Number one, it creates a very uh, uh, open work environment and also leaves us the opportunity to pull people in as needed from other teams um, to really uh, make sure that we have all the expertise that we need in a certain project. Again, here it's also important that you have executive support. Uh, without executive support, such a team structure is very hard to pull through uh, because you will have managers that block such initiatives. Thanks for watching my webinar from Challenge to Challenger. If you liked it, please click the like button below and uh, subscribe to our EOS channel. For more information about webinars and other educational content, uh, please also feel free to check out the links in the description box. And uh, as always, we really appreciate and love your feedback. So if you have any questions or suggestions on topics that we could cover in the future, please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you.